Now I'm sure most of you know Apple released their new OS X Mac update about a month and a half ago. And with this update they released a whole bunch of new features and one of my favorite features is where you can record your iPhone, iPod and iPad screen completely free using your MacBook without even needing to download anything. But of course the new update which is Yosemite, if you don't have it, I'd highly recommend you go download it now because if you don't have it you will not be able to record this, I'm sorry for you guys. But anyways, what you're gonna need is QuickTime Player, which does come with the Mac when purchased, and if you cannot find it, what I recommend you do is go to the search button and search it up. Now as soon as you got it, you want to open the app, and next you'd want to connect your device, in this case I'm using my iPad, to your computer through the USB cable. Once you're done, you're going to want to open QuickTime Player, you're going to want to go to File, and hit New Movie Recording. Not New Screen Recording, Movie Recording. It's the difference. Once you hit that, your iPad screen should pop up. There you go. As you can see, it's pretty good quality and also very fast. But it's not like live, live, it's just a fraction of a second late. So if you're recording, I recommend you look at your iPad screen while recording for you gamers out there. So I'm going to show you a bit of apps. For example, Clash of Clans, which is one of my favorite apps, by the way. And if you do want to draw my clan, feel free. I'm in a clan called the Pillagers. It's a pretty sweet clan. We have a very good war log and we donate a lot and everything. But anyways, back to the video. As you can see, this is very good quality. I zoom in, you could tell. It's also very fast and very bright colors. Now, what I like about this feature is that it's free. That's one of my favorite stuff. And as you know, if you want to record your screen, your device, iPad, iPod, or iPhone screen, you'd want to pay, pay money for some apps. There are apps out there, but they cost money. And this is free. That's one of the coolest features, I think, that's included. And another cool feature is that when you record this, it records the iPad sound at the same time. So you don't, want, you don't, you don't have to play the sound through your iPad, then record it using the mic. It records the sound anyways, and at the same time, it records your voice too, which is pretty sweet, as I'm going to show right now. Watch. So by the way, if you want to start a video, you just hit this recording button, but before you do, you'd want to make sure all your settings is what you want. Your camera, Sam's iPad, microphone, I can use a computer microphone, or if it's not good, I can use the iPad microphone. Or if you have a personal microphone that's connected to the computer, it should show up here, but if not, then try again. And then you have the quality. Now there's high and maximum. Now I tried both, you really can't tell any difference. There really is is not difference. The only difference is that when you record, it actually records more megabytes, where it'll take more time to process, which which is like not good because you're wasting time. But I'd use maximum. I can't tell the difference, but I'm sure there's a difference since it takes more takes up more space. But when you click the recording, it will tell you the time, and how much megabytes is sucked up. Now, as you can see, I'm talking right now, and it should actually record my voice while I'm talk while I'm recording my voice through this video at the same time. And I will also it should it should also record the app song. Now, let me place the song. Hopefully, I don't get copyright issues. I'm playing some music right now. Now I can't hear it, but it's probably getting recorded right now. Now we're going to test it. When you're done with your video, all you have to do is just hit this pause button. And it will bring up the video. Now you can hear it. So let's see. It will tell you the time and how much megabytes is sucked up. Now as you can see, I'm talking right now. And it should actually record my voice while I'm talking. While I'm recording my voice through this video at the same time. And I will also, it, also, it should also record the app song. Now let me place the song. Hopefully I don't get copyright issues. I'm playing some music right now. Now I can't hear it, but it's probably getting recorded right now. Now we're gonna test it. When you're done with your video, all you have to do is just hit this pause button. Now as you guys can see, the sound did not work for some reason. It's supposed to work. It's probably because uh, it wasn't streaming or it was still buffering, but it should work. I tested it before and it did. But anyway, one of the wait, 
What is wrong with this? It's not live. I'm not using my iPod. Let's open it again. Okay, it's going to be really slow. Now, there are some downsides to this. And one of the worst things is that uh, when you tilt the device, you can actually see that animation moving through the apps. That I do not like because it's very sensitive. Now the reason is because the screen is laminated, but if you want to fix this, what I'm using now is a case for it to stand up, which doesn't shake, but when I pick it up and hold it, it gets pretty annoying. Now what I recommend is if you don't have a case, you lie it in a flat surface like your table, but this feature is not nice for you gamers out there, you know, because if the game involves some movement, like turning your iPad to the side, oh, as you can see, it also records a vertical. Takes a while for the animation. But for you gamers out there, this this kind of sucks for you guys, but it's still worth it. It's free. Now this did not this did not happen with the with the monies that costed apps. With like with the apps that costed money, sorry. I just open my grammar. But still this is pretty sweet since it's free. So that's all I wanted to show you guys for today. If you did like this video, please hit that thumbs button down below and please do subscribe to stay updated with my latest content. Anyways, thank you for watching these videos, and I'll see you next time. Bye.